2017 marked the end of a veteran driver's career and brought about a surprise reprieve for one. Despite winning the GP2 Championship in 2014, Jolian Palmer's step up into F1 came two years later and proved unsuccessful. Joining the Renault F1 team with Kevin Magnussen as his teammate, a promising start to the year led ultimately to just one point scoring position. He did though continue on for another year with the highly rated Nico Hülkenberg as his new teammate. 2017 proved difficult as well and despite a best ever result of 6th place coming at Singapore, it was announced he would be leaving the team early with 4 races to go. He did not secure a drive for the following year and now works as a commentator and analyst for BBC Radio 5 Live and Formula 1 itself. A German Mauritian born, backed by Mercedes and reigning DTM champion Pascal Verlein entered F1 with the Manor Racing team and outraced his machinery, consistently qualifying well and even managing to secure a point for the team during his maiden year. Despite losing his drive early as the Manor team collapsed, he secured a race seat with Sauber for the following year and, despite scoring the team's only points, was left without a drive for 2018. Still under the management of Mercedes and Toto Wolff, he returned to the DTM for one campaign before parting ways with Mercedes entirely. He left the DTM and took up a position with Ferrari as a test and development driver whilst racing in the Formula E Championship with Mahindra. He scored a podium in his maiden season and continued on for another year with the Indian team before parting ways ahead of the season finale. It was then announced Verline had signed a deal to become a Porsche factory driver and will return to Formula E with Porsche. The main bulk of Paul de Resta's F1 career came to an end in 2013, however he was given a one-off reprieve in 2017. Much like Verline, a Mercedes-backed driver and coming off the back of becoming DTM champion, he joined Force India in 2011 and performed well. His best season came in 2013, finishing 12th in the standings with a 4th place finish equaling his career best. He lost his drive at the end of the year as Force India chose the well-backed Sergio Perez. The Scots returned to DTM with Mercedes until they pulled out of the sport, contesting one more year with the privateer Aston Martin team. He left DTM to focus on his sports car career with United Autosport, where he has contested the IMSA and WEC series, winning the WEC LMP2 title in 2020. However, in 2017, he made a shock F1 return, stepping up from his reserve driver role with Williams to replace an ill Felipe Massa at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Stepping into qualifying, having had no practice experience, he qualified 19th in what was described by Toto Wolff as an unbelievable job. He retired from the race, however, and that was his last time starting a Grand Prix. As well as competing in sports cars, he is also a pundit for Sky Sports F1 and was announced as the McLaren F1 team reserve for 2020 due to the COVID-19 affected season, making it highly probable reserve drivers might be called upon. The 12-second Ferrari 2008 world champion, before Hamilton passed Glock, saw out his F1 career with a relatively competitive stint at Williams. During his time at Williams, he achieved five podiums before initially retiring at the end of 2016. However, Rosberg's shock retirement saw Massa's Williams teammate Valtteri Bottas called up to Mercedes. As such, Massa stayed on for one more year before leaving at the end of 2017. Massa moved to Formula E in 2018 with Venturi and scored a best result of third at Monaco in his two seasons, but left at the end of 2020. The man from Somerset raced in Formula 1 from 2007 to 2017 for Williams, Benetton, Renault, BAR, Honda, Braun and McLaren. Jensen Button left the sport fully at the end of 2016. His best year, of course, came with winning the world title with the rescued from the brink of collapse, Braun GP. His last couple of years with McLaren and engine partner Honda proved frustrating and he stepped back from the race seat in 2016 but made a one-off comeback to replace the Indy 500 bound Fernando Alonso. Always having a love for all things Japanese, Button became involved with the Super GT Championship, winning the title in 2018 and competing recently in the World Endurance Championship at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Residing mainly in the United States with his wife and son, he made his British GT debut in 2020 at the Silverstone Finale and also runs a cycling and fashion business alongside his punditry work for Sky Sports F1. Stay tuned for part nine where we take a look at those drivers who departed F1 following the 2017 season. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and do leave a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching.